up guys welcome to another video today i'm we'll reviewing mortal kombat the film came out today and of course stars hiroyuki sonata as scorpion and joe tasm as sub-zero now before we start with that like button subscribe to post notification bell so you can know every video let's just start let's start talking about the good so all the characters in this film i thought they were fantastic um you of course have a scorpion sub-zero sonya blade um, Jax, uh, Melina, um, you have, uh, Kano, you have Cabal, you have, um, the Lizard, uh, you have all these different characters. Um, you also have the introduction of Cole Young, uh, who is this martial artist, um, who is trained in martial arts, and, uh, he does, well, he wasn't, of course, in the video games, which to me personally, I've never played any of the video games. I just researched the characters the other day, and that's how I knew who they were. Everyone knows who Sub Zero is. I've known who, I think I've I've known Sub Zero before. I've heard his name before, uh, but the other characters I had no clue who they were until like when the first trailer came out. So I am very very new to Mortal Kombat. Um, so just letting you know right now, I'm not a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan. Um, I've never seen any of the movies, never played the game. Um, all I know are the characters, and obviously I watched this film. Um, now the opening sequence. The opening sequence for this film is fantastic. You have Hiroyuki Sonata, who of course plays Scorpion. Him just going after all these people who just killed his family is just awesome. It's awesome. And Sub-Zero, of course is the one who killed um, Scorpion's family and just the confrontation between him and all these other guys him just taking them down one by one and then eventually um, getting um, getting hurt slash killed slash not really because he's still alive he's still alive obviously um, and what I really liked about that opening sequence was that it was brutal and it meant something. It means that there are stakes and Sub-Zero will go after anyone. Now I will speak about what happens later in the film, um, but I'm just gonna say right now that that opening 10 minutes of the film is the best part of the entire film. Um, the character introductions. Now, I thought the character introductions were not bad. Um, I was fine with how they introduced the characters. Again, I'm not a fan of Mortal Kombat. I'm not a big fan of Mortal Kombat. I've never played the game, never seen any of the movies. This is my first um, introduction to Mortal Kombat. So, um, I'm just a casual viewer who just watched Mortal Kombat. So, I think that the character introductions were good enough. Um, I thought they were fine. Um, it worked for me. I knew all the characters. Now, if you went into this film not knowing any of the characters, you probably won't um, won't know what's going on um, within the film. You probably won't know the characters at all because they do introduce the characters, but not in a way that you fully understand. So again, like I said, I researched them before, so I knew the characters beforehand. Um, so I thought the introductions were fine. Um, I already knew the characters, like I just said, and the way they introduce them in the film, they do it in a way that if you're really paying attention, then you know who they are. But if you're not really paying attention to the film, um, you're probably going to miss it. And you're probably not even going to know who, like, who Sonya Blade is and who Cabal is. You're probably not going to know who those people are. Um, because they do say their names in the film, but for the minor characters, they say like once, twice uh, within the film. Like Luke, Luke, um, Luke Kong, I believe his name is Luke Kane. His name is only said like three times in the film, so you probably won't really know who that is if you are a casual viewer like me. But I knew he was because I caught on to it right away. Um, the sequences in this film there are a lot of awesome action sequences in this film and 
some people say that the choreography for the fight sequences were not that good and i will get to that later um, but the action sequences as a whole i thought were great again that opening 10 minutes is the best 10 minutes of this entire film um and if i'm being honest that 10 minutes of of the opening sequence if that was this entire film if that opening sequence was like this entire film or if this film was like that entire um, opening 10 sequences it would have been awesome this film would have been awesome um, but it's not um, it's not like that opening 10 minutes but it is still entertaining um, now the cinematography which of course includes the shots the camera angles the lighting I thought it was okay it was decent um, it's not some of the best cinematography that I've ever seen before. Um, it's just decent cinematography. It's okay. Um, there are some um, shaky cam moments. Not shaky. We're well, not really shaky cam, but the way they edit the film is sort of. It feels off. It feels a little off. The way they cut to some sequences, um, maybe cut too quickly or um, to stay too long on a specific sequence just the way everything is put together the editing i think it could have been way better the editing um but the editing was fine i guess it was a little bit choppy but it was it was whatever it was okay it was decent um the cgi and the visual effects i thought they were um fantastic uh, you have, of course, Sub-Zero, who's awesome. The ice sequences just look magnificent, especially that third act of the film, which I'll get to later. But that third act of the film looks awesome. Um, the fight sequence looks awesome. Um, I mean, you pretty much saw how it looks in the trailer. And of course, it looks like that in the film. But watching it in IMAX, it really ups the scale, obviously. But it makes it much more um i guess you could say much more vibrant that just the colors the way everything looks that ice sequence in the third act of the film was awesome um and now getting to the third act of the film i thought it was awesome it was a fantastic action-packed third act you have sub-zero versus scorpion easily 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 the best fight sequence of this entire film um, that sequence and the opening sequence are the best parts of this entire film. Um, that's all the good that I have. Now let's move on to the bad. So the actual choreography for the um, fight sequences, they're basic. I expected a little more from them because of the, the game. And obviously the games cannot translate um, perfectly to film. But I think they could have done a more creative job with the fight sequences. Um, they're just a little too basic. Uh, and the tone, the tone was just a little bit off for me. It wasn't, it was just a weird tone. Um, it's, it goes from hilarious sequences with Kano, which I thought Kano was hilarious in this film. Um, and Kano is actually one of the best parts of this film. Every single time he's on screen, he's hilarious. But it goes from those sequences to going to, um, to Sub-Zero and Shang Tsung just like talking about you know murdering everyone and like destroying the world and taking you um uh taking you like uh, warriors to go and kill off the main characters the main heroes so the tone is a little bit off um but like I said if it had a consistent tone just like the tone that was set in the opening sequence this could have been um a very well done Mortal Kombat film. Um, and the dialogue. Now the dialogue is terrible. Easily some of the worst dialogue I've ever heard um, in a video game film. And I have, there are not that many video game films that I've seen. But um, comparing it to Pixels, well it's not that bad. It's not as bad as Pixels. Um, it's like 10 times better than Pixels. But the dialogue does not really work for me. Um, it was kind of, it was sort of cringeworthy at times. Um, so the dialogue, I did not think it worked all that well. Um, that's about it. Mortal Kombat is, again, an awesome action film. 
It's very entertaining. Um, and I think if you are not a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan like me, um, you probably will enjoy it. But if you are a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan, um, like a lot of people, you might not enjoy it because of the decisions they make with some of the characters and not including some characters um, and what they do with some of the characters. Um, but overall, I had a fun time with it. So I'm going to give Mortal Kombat a B-. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the post notification bell so you can notify for every video. I'm Peter. Thank you for watching.